Two mechanics were working on a vehicle raised high, relying on a lifting mechanism that was not properly secured or locked. As the car shifted and began to tilt, one worker made a fatal, instinctual error. He attempted to physically catch the heavy vehicle to stop it from falling. The weight of the car instantly overpowered him, tipping further and crushing him against the shop floor. Never try to catch a falling load. If a vehicle or heavy object begins to fall, your only priority is to clear the danger zone immediately. Equipment can be replaced, lives cannot. An untrained worker climbed into the cab of a bulldozer, treating the complex machine like a recreational vehicle. Lacking the skill to manage the machine's shifting center of gravity, he destabilized the unit. The bulldozer tipped and rolled over, turning the massive blade and tracks into immediate threats to everyone nearby. Curiosity kills in the cab of heavy machinery. Only certified operators should ever touch the controls, and ignition keys must be strictly managed to prevent unauthorized use. A technician attempted to repair a press machine without cutting the power, gambling on a quick fix. As he worked, the machine shaft starts working, pinning him against the frame. He miraculously crawled free just in time, escaping with only a minor scratch on his face. Never rely on luck to survive a moving machine. Mandatory lockout tagout, LOTO. Procedures are the only way to ensure equipment remains dead during maintenance. At a busy cargo port, a man approached a heavy transport vehicle to speak with the driver. Following the conversation, the driver immediately initiated a turn, assuming the pedestrian had moved away. Caught in the vehicle's blind spot, the man was struck and crushed by the swinging rear wheels before he could react. Eye contact does not guarantee safety once the gaze is broken. Pedestrians must stay clear of the dangerous turning radius, and drivers must visually verify that the blind spot is empty before moving. Technicians were conducting maintenance inside the narrow vertical shaft of a wind turbine. Suddenly, unsecured bolts and heavy components from a platform above dislodged and plummeted down, striking the crew below. In vertical workspaces, gravity turns loose objects into deadly projectiles. Always secure tools with tethers, install tow boards on upper platforms, and wear impact-rated helmets to survive falling hazards. A worker climbed onto a moving conveyor belt to manually push steel bars into a rebar cutter. As the belt surged forward, it dragged his feet dangerously close to the shearing blades. Luckily, he escaped just in time. Conveyors are for materials, not people. Never stand on moving belts or bypass guarding. Use proper feeding tools to keep your distance from the hazard. In a textile factory, a female worker got too close to a running fabric winding machine. Her entire upper body was dragged into the rotating rollers, flipping her repeatedly. Other workers noticed the abnormal noise, rushed over, and shut down the machine before pulling her free and calling for help. Stay clear of moving rollers. Loose clothing can pull you in faster than you can react. A female worker attempted to take a shortcut by squeezing between two active sorting conveyor belts, ignoring the designated walkway. The moving machinery instantly trapped her, pinning her body tightly between the rollers. Panicked colleagues watched in confusion, unable to stop the line because they did not know the location of the emergency switch. A male worker stood directly on a moving conveyor belt to sort goods, oblivious to his changing position. He failed to notice the belt carrying him toward the junction where two sections met. Suddenly, his legs were dragged into the gap and violently squeezed by the machinery. Conveyors are designed for cargo, not people. Never stand or walk on a moving belt. Always perform sorting tasks from a safe stationary platform to avoid entrapment. A worker in a fabric factory was manually feeding the end of a cloth roll into a winding machine. His hand was suddenly caught in the folds, and the machine relentlessly dragged his entire body into the spool. 
Lacking safety sensors, the device failed to stop and actually accelerated, spinning him with lethal force. Manual feeding into rotating machinery requires strict guarding. Never operate winders without automatic shutoff sensors or presence sensing devices to stop the cycle instantly upon contact. A worker at a steel pipe facility violated critical safety protocols by performing a hoisting operation alone, bypassing the mandatory two-person rule. He failed to wedge the bottom layer of pipes to prevent rolling and walked into a narrow gap between unsecured stacks. The pipe shifted, pinning him against the adjacent stack. Always adhere to the buddy system for hoisting, strictly secure round loads against rolling, and never attempt a rescue without a stabilized plan. A worker entered the restricted zone of an automatic conveyor system for inspection without powering it down. As he turned his attention to a nearby shelf, the running conveyor moved, pinning his body against the stationary racking. He was crushed between the heavy machinery and the steel shelf. Automation does not respect personal space. Never enter an active machine zone without performing lockout, tag out, low toe to eliminate the risk of crushing. A worker was using a high pressure hose to wash down a pig pen when he suffered a massive electric shock. The cause was likely an insulation failure in the water pump, which energized the water stream and the wet floor. Standing in water without protection, the current passed directly through his body. Water creates a direct path for lethal current. A worker attempted to balance along the narrow rim of a large fish tank while wearing casual slippers. The combination of wet surfaces and footwear with absolutely no grip proved disastrous. He lost his footing instantly and plummeted from the high wall, striking the hard ground below with force. Slippers have no place in industrial environments. Always wear non-slip safety boots and utilize designated walkways with guardrails to prevent falls in wet aquaculture zones. Workers in a repair shop were operating without any personal protective equipment, PPE. One worker attempted to pry open a tensioned machine frame, unaware of the stored energy inside. The frame shattered explosively, spraying high-velocity metal fragments like bullets directly at him. Lacking safety glasses or protective clothing, he was struck by the shrapnel and collapsed in severe pain. Without PPE, flying debris becomes lethal shrapnel. Three men attempted to transport heavy glass panels using an inadequate cart. As the load became unstable and tipped, they instinctively tried to prop it up with their hands. The heavy glass pinned against the wall and shattered under the pressure, showering the workers with sharp shards. Ensure your own safety first. Never attempt to catch or stop falling glass. The weight and razor-sharp edges make it impossible to handle manually once momentum takes over. Step back and let it break to avoid severe lacerations.